Welcome back to Tech Class. Today we are going to dive into day one innovation proposal. So this is your project planner yesterday that you got in Google Classroom. If you go to the next slide, that's where you get this purple slide, day one. You are going to be opening the application of your top choice that you chose yesterday and you're going to take a look and see what it can do. You can watch a few tutorials if you'd like, you can just play around, click some buttons, and you are going to see what you might be able to create a project about with that application. Whether it was iMovie, Weebly, SketchUp, whatever your choice is, you need to think what do you want to be able to create. And this is, you know, something that can take a little bit of time and you want to make sure you look at student examples. You can look if you're interested on YouTube to see if there's any other examples of projects or things that students have made before. So it's your chance to kind of figure out what you want your project to be about. Keep in mind your project is eight days. That's how long you have to work on this. So it's not a whole lot of time, um, but you will have, you know, just enough with 44, minute, 44 minutes per class period that you can work on, um, you know, working as productively as possible. Um, you're going to also need to keep in mind that your project must be related to school. So one of your class subjects that you're in, or you can connect it to STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, or math. And then lastly, if you would like, you could try to find a connection to the real world. So think of problems that we have going on in the real world. How could you create a project to help people or to, you know, solve a problem that we have? So that's the other choice that you can use to create your project. I have an example for us right here. So um, by the end of class today, you're going to need to write, and you remember just double click to be able to type, you need to be able to write your goal right here. And I'm not going to give it a sentence limit, but it should definitely be more than three sentences. Um, you need to make sure that you're as specific as possible about what it is that you're going to be creating. The more or the better job you do on this goal, then um, tomorrow when you do your SMART goal, you will be able to copy and paste it right into that slide. So that's why I really suggest being specific with this goal right here. You can read this example for yourself and then, you know, start to create your goal. The last thing that I'm going to say is just make sure you're choosing something you're interested in. Do not choose math or do not choose, you know, creating a replica of the ancient Egyptian pyramids. If that's not something that you care about or that you want to learn more about, choose things that you have a passion for that you want to learn more about and you'll be excited to learn and come to class each and every day. If you finish this slide early and you have a little bit of time left over, then you can go ahead and start the tutorials, looking through those, as well as a lot of the different projects have planners. So you could start the website planner or start your iMovie storyboard or stop motion storyboard to get a head start so you'll have you know more time to work on your project. All right, good luck and I will see you later.